Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the workshop. So, as a few of you will know, um, I've been getting back into the trucks a little bit, and one of the things I noticed somebody driving around with was one of these generators. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to have one that actually works? Now, I've seen um, a few people. Uh, I know Aaron RC Sparks. He's done one, um, and his was really cool, and it's inspired me to have a go at making one myself. So what we've got in here is a sound unit. Um, I've got a BEC, which is a um, battery elimination circuit, which basically is like a voltage regulator. Uh, and that's reducing everything down to six volts because some of the electronics I've got in here can only run on six volts. Uh, and that's powering everything. Um, we've also got a voltmeter on the end here. And I thought it'd be fun if I put a set of battery um, banana connectors on the end then I could power something from it so I think what I'll probably do is have maybe like a set of street lights or something would look pretty cool so I can run obviously those um, leads out from there so what I thought I'd do is just um, go around it show you a few bits have a look inside of the electronics and then uh, show you it working so as you would have guessed it is 3d printed um, comes in about eight or nine different parts Glue them all together. Now, so it, what's quite cool, it's got forklift holes in it. Now, I don't have a forklift at the moment, um, but I do have friends that have got front loaders, so I could probably make a set of forks for that. But also, it gives you these lifting eyes in the corners and the lifting eye on the top. So, probably what I'll do, I'll make up some lifting straps for it. So, I also got some Doll's House hinges, um, which so they're proper hinges. These are metal and it allows you to open and close the doors a set of hinges does um, which also you know for the sort of scale aspect makes it look a bit better so I've got beyond this one I've got this basically is a servo tester um, but the good thing with that is it allows me to have a control on it but hands free so I don't need to have a receiver and what have you set up to it um, and then I can just turn this up and it will basically rev to whatever I want it to rev to so starting this end inside, we've got the, this is the voltage meter, which is just an LED one, which is available from Component Shop. Um, fantastic guys. And uh, you know, any sort of electronics and what have you, I generally get most of them from there. I've got a six volt, three amp BEC. This is a 2S, so 7.4 volt LiPo. Um, just put a couple of um, four mil banana connectors in there to couple that up. I've got the servo tester here, which is just a, um, it's only a few pounds from Component Shop, but as well as testing servos, they're, um, they're really handy for things like this. And I've got a Sense Innovations ESS dual sound unit in here, which um, I have programmed it to sound like a diesel engine. Now, I think it might need to be something a bit smaller at the moment. It's uh, like a V8 truck, but let me know what you think. And then there's a little bit of wiring in here. So just quickly with the wiring, the battery goes straight to the BEC. That regulates it down to six volts, which that goes into the servo tester, um, which controls the sound unit, but it also powers the voltmeter and the banana connectors. So basically everything is going through the BEC. Now, it is a three amp, three amp at 7.5 volt is quite a bit. And I don't really intend on running anything other than a few LEDs off it. So I can't see there being a problem. So as I said, it's got a voltmeter. Now this is basically, this is the voltage that's coming out of the BEC and which is also going to the banana connectors. Um, so what I'll do just to test that. So it says 5.98, just plug my voltmeter in and lo and behold, 5.98, so that's bang on. Right, I haven't glued the lid on yet because I just want to test it a little bit before I commit to gluing that down. But what I might do is put some brackets inside so I can actually screw it, um, just in case if I need to make any modifications or anything um, fails in there, then obviously I don't have to cut into it. Uh, so that's a little, um, little project that I need to get on with. And 
So we've got the two opening doors. So the first one is just big enough that I can load in the battery. I'll probably put a bit of um, Velcro on there as well, just to stop that from being able to move around. Because my intention is possibly to be picking this up. Um, not sure yet. Need to add some decals. Probably come up with a some sort of hire company. And then just inside this door, uh, we've got this servo tester. So at the moment it's set to zero. And what that allows us to do is, if you imagine um, you've got your transmitter and you're increasing your throttle, then this will simulate exactly the same as that. So what I'll do, I'll turn it up and then eventually the sound unit should cut in as if obviously you were accelerating. So hopefully that's not too loud, but at the moment we're at idle. Then all I do is just turn it around. And then that just picks up the revs. So I can have it, basically I can have it as loud as I want. I don't want it too loud. Sorry, it might be too loud. I don't want it too loud. Um, to be obtrusive, but you know, I want it loud enough that people can tell that it's coming from here. So I think something like that's probably about right. Shut the doors. Um, now I need to make an exhaust pipe for this, and also I was thinking about putting maybe putting a flashing light on it. Not sure. Let me know what you think. But well, I could put a flashing beacon on the top somewhere. Or, um, also maybe like a couple of flashy lights here and uh, I need to get some stickers made up. So there we go, hope you agree, it looks pretty cool. Um, it works nicely, just as I expected. I have rewired it completely today because I sort of was test fitting so the wires were a bit longer than they needed to be etc. So I've shortened all the wiring up. Um, also fitting the banana connectors in the end. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. So as I said, it's a 3D print. It is available from um, Thingiverse. Uh, it's called something peculiar. I can't remember what it is, but if I do remember, I'll put it in the link below. Um, yeah, so if you think there's any other bits that I need to add to it, which would make it look cool or work better, then um, let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.